we're going to talk about applications of, hy of hyperbolas. And these, there's some really cool applications. For instance, comets that don't move in an elliptical orbit around the sun almost always move in a hyperbolic or orbit. In theory, they can also move in parabolic ones, but they tend to be hyperbolic more often than not. There's also a few other ones, like the reflecting property that, allow, that allows us to take advantage of a hyperbola and a parabola so that we can get a reflecting mirror so you can actually aim your telescope at something. So for instance, the eye looks here. The eye is at focus 2, and it looks this way at focus 1 that has a hyperbolic focus. And then there's a parabolic, so this is a hyperbola, this is a parabolic one, and so an image would come in, bounce towards the focus, and then get redirected towards the eye, so that you could look at things that were far away without having to look at a mirror behind you. So this is how we get it to look in the same direction. And the last way that's used is in navigation systems for echolocation and different things. And so that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the Loran navigational transmitters, A and B, and we're going to suppose that they're sitting out at 130, 0, and negative 130, 0. We're also told that there's a receiver on a boat, P, sitting out here. And he calculates the difference of this distance from A to B. So this is A, and this is B. And he calculates the distance to be 240 miles distant. Find, we can find the equation of the hyperbola that he is on by using this. And so the 240 is equal to 2a, so a is 120. Well, we also know that c is 130, because there's our center, and these are the foci at c, so here's our bounding box. He's going to be sitting somewhere on this line right here. So we're using 0, 0 as our center. So we're just going to get x squared over a squared plus y squared over c squared equals, over b squared rather, equals 1. This should be a minus, not a plus. And so we know that a squared is equal to 120 squared, which is 14,400. And we know that b, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So in this case, b squared equals c squared minus a squared. So we're going to get out our calculator. We're going to do 130 squared minus 120 squared, and that gives us 2,500. So b squared is 2,500, which means b is 50. So my equation then, all I have to do is replace the a and the b. We get x squared over 14,400 minus y squared over 2,500 is equal to 1. This is the parabola that the boat with the receiver at p is on. The hyperbola that the boat with receiver p is on.